The Book of Numbers, Chapter 29 And in the seventh month, on the first day of the month, you shall have a holy convocation. You shall do no customary work. For you it is a day of blowing the trumpets. You shall offer a burnt offering as a sweet aroma to the Lord, one young bull, one ram, and seven lambs in their first year, without blemish. Their grain offering shall be fine flour mixed with oil, three-tenths of an ephah for the bull, two-tenths for the ram, and one-tenth for each of the seven lambs. Also, one kid of the goats as a sin offering to make atonement for you. Besides the burnt offering with its grain offering for the new moon, the regular burnt offering with its grain offering, and their drink offerings, according to their ordinance, as a sweet aroma, an offering made by fire to the Lord. On the tenth day of this seventh month you shall have a holy convocation. You shall afflict your souls. You shall not do any work. You shall present a burnt offering to the Lord as a sweet aroma, one young bull, one ram, and seven lambs in their first year. Be sure they are without blemish. Their grain offering shall be of fine flour mixed with oil, three-tenths of an ephah for the bull, two-tenths for the one ram, and one-tenth for each of the seven lambs. Also one kid of the goats as a sin offering, besides the sin offering for atonement, the regular burnt offering with its grain offering, and their drink offerings. On the fifteenth day of the seventh month you shall have a holy convocation, you shall do no customary work, and you shall keep a feast to the Lord seven days. You shall present a burnt offering, an offering made by fire as a sweet aroma to the Lord, thirteen young bulls, two rams, and fourteen lambs in their first year. They shall be without blemish. Their grain offering shall be of fine flour mixed with oil, three-tenths of an ephah for each of the thirteen bulls, two-tenths for each of the two rams, and one-tenth for each of the fourteen lambs. Also, one kid of the goats as a sin offering, besides the regular burnt offering, its grain offering, and its drink offering. On the second day present twelve young bulls, two rams, fourteen lambs in their first year without blemish, and their grain offering and their drink offerings for the bulls, for the rams, and for the lambs, by their number according to the ordinance. Also, one kid of the goats as a sin offering, besides the regular burnt offering with its grain offering and their drink offerings. On the third day present eleven bulls, two rams, fourteen lambs in their first year without blemish, and their grain offering and their drink offerings for the bulls, for the rams, and for the lambs by their number according to their ordinance. Also, one goat as a sin offering, besides the regular burnt offering, its grain offering, and its drink offering. On the fourth day present ten bulls, two rams, and fourteen lambs in their first year without blemish, and their grain offering, and their drink offerings for the bulls, for the rams, and for the lambs, by their number, according to their ordinance. Also, one kid of the goats as a sin offering, besides the regular burnt offering, its grain offering, and its drink offering. On the fifth day present nine bulls, two rams, and fourteen lambs in their first year without blemish, and their grain offering, and their drink offerings for the bulls, for the rams, and for the lambs by their number according to the ordinance. Also one goat as a sin offering, besides the regular burnt offering, its grain offering, and its drink offering. On the sixth day present eight bulls, two rams, and fourteen lambs in their first year without blemish, and their grain offering, and their drink offerings for the bulls, for the rams, and for the lambs by their number according to the ordinance. Also, one goat as a sin offering, besides the regular burnt offering, its grain offering, and its drink offering. On the seventh day present seven bulls, two rams, and fourteen lambs in their first year without blemish, and their grain offering, and their drink offerings for the bulls, for the rams, and for the lambs by their number, according to the ordinance. Also, 
one goat as a sin offering, besides the regular burnt offering, its grain offering, and its drink offering. On the eighth day you shall have a sacred assembly. You shall do no customary work. You shall present a burnt offering, an offering made by fire as a sweet aroma to the Lord, one bull, one ram, seven lambs in their first year without blemish, and their grain offering, and their drink offerings for the bull, for the ram, and for the lambs by their number according to the ordinance. Also, one goat as a sin offering, besides the regular burnt offering, its grain offering, and its drink offering. These you shall present to the Lord at your appointed feasts, besides your vowed offerings and your free will offerings, as your burnt offerings and your grain offerings, as your drink offerings and your peace offerings. So Moses told the children of Israel everything, just as the Lord commanded Moses. The Gospel of John, Chapter 10 Most assuredly I say to you, He who does not enter the sheepfold by the door, but climbs up some other way, the same is a thief and a robber. But he who enters by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. To him the doorkeeper opens, and the sheep hear his voice, and he calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. And when he brings out his own sheep, he goes before them, and the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. Yet they will by no means follow a stranger, but will flee from him, for they do not know the voice of strangers. Jesus used this illustration, but they did not understand the things which he spoke to them. Then Jesus said to them, Most assuredly, I say to you, I am the door of the sheep. All who ever came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not hear them. I am the door. If anyone enters by me, he will be saved and will go in and out and find pasture. The thief does not come except to steal and to kill and to destroy. I have come that they may have life and that they may have it more abundantly. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd gives his life for the sheep. But a hireling, he who is not the shepherd, one who does not own the sheep, sees the wolf coming and leaves the sheep and flees. And the wolf catches the sheep and scatters them. The hireling flees because he is a hireling and does not care about the sheep. I am the good shepherd, and I know my sheep, and am known by my own. As the Father knows me, even so I know the Father, and I lay down my life for the sheep. And other sheep I have which are not of this fold, them also I must bring, and they will hear my voice, and there will be one flock and one shepherd. Therefore my Father loves me, because I lay down my life that I may take it again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down of myself. I have power to lay it down, and I have power to take it again. This command I have received from my Father. Therefore there was a division again among the Jews because of these sayings. And many of them said, He has a demon and is mad. Why do you listen to him? Others said, These are not the words of one who has a demon. Can a demon open the eyes of the blind? Now it was the Feast of Dedication in Jerusalem. And it was winter, and Jesus walked in the temple in Solomon's porch. Then the Jews surrounded him and said to him, How long do you keep us in doubt? If you are the Christ, tell us plainly. Jesus answered them, I told you, and you do not believe. The works that I do in my Father's name, they bear witness of me. But you do not believe, because you are not of my sheep, as I said to you. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. And I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish, neither shall anyone snatch them out of my hand. My Father, who has given them to me, is greater than all, and no one is able to snatch them out of my Father's hand. I and my Father are one. Then the Jews took up stones again to stone him. Jesus answered them, Many good works I have shown you from my Father. For which of those works do you stone me? The Jews answered him, saying, 
For a good work we do not stone you, but for blasphemy, and because you, being a man, make yourself God. Jesus answered them, Is it not written in your law? I said, You are gods. If he calls them gods, to whom the word of God came, and the scripture cannot be broken, do you say of him whom the Father sanctified and sent into the world, You are blaspheming, because I said, I am the Son of God? If I do not do the works of my Father, do not believe me. But if I do, though you do not believe me, believe the works, that you may know and believe that the Father is in me, and I in him. Therefore they sought again to seize him, but he escaped out of their hand. And he went away again beyond the Jordan to the place where John was baptizing at first, and there he stayed. Then many came to him and said, John performed no sign, but all the things that John spoke about this man were true, and many believed in him there. Psalm 78 A Contemplation of Asaph Give ear, O my people, to my law, incline your ears to the words of my mouth. I will open my mouth in a parable. I will utter dark sayings of old, which we have heard and known, and our fathers have told us. We will not hide them from their children, telling to the generation to come the praises of the Lord, and His strength and His wonderful works that He has done. For He established a testimony in Jacob, and appointed a law in Israel, which He commanded our fathers, that they should make them known to their children, that the generation to come might know them, the children who would be born, that they may arise and declare them to their children, that they may set their hope in God, and not forget the works of God, but keep His commandments, and may not be like their fathers, a stubborn and rebellious generation, a generation that did not set its heart aright, and whose spirit was not faithful to God. The children of Ephraim, being armed and carrying bows, Turn back in the day of battle. They did not keep the covenant of God. They refused to walk in His law, and forgot His works and His wonders that He had shown them. Marvelous things He did in the sight of their fathers, in the land of Egypt, in the field of Zoan. He divided the sea and caused them to pass through, and He made the waters stand up like a heap. In the daytime also He led them with the cloud, and all the night with the light of fire. He split the rocks in the wilderness, and gave them drink in abundance like the depths. He also brought streams out of the rock, and caused waters to run down like rivers. But they sinned even more against Him by rebelling against the Most High in the wilderness. And they tested God in their heart by asking for the food of their fancy. Yes, they spoke against God. They said, can God prepare a table in the wilderness? Behold, He struck the rock, so that the waters gushed out, and the streams overflowed. Can He give bread also? Can He provide meat for His people? Therefore the Lord heard this, and was furious. So a fire was kindled against Jacob, and anger also came up against Israel, because they did not believe in God, and did not trust in His salvation. Yet He had commanded the clouds above, and opened the doors of heaven. He rained down manna on them to eat, and given them of the bread of heaven. Men ate angels' food. He sent them food to the full. He caused an east wind to blow in the heavens, and by his power he brought in the south wind. He also rained meat on them like the dust, feathered fowl like the sand of the seas. And he let them fall in the midst of their camp, all around their dwellings. So they ate, and were well filled, for he gave them their own desire. They were not deprived of their craving, but while their food was still in their mouths, the wrath of God came against them, and slew the stoutest of them, and struck down the choice men of Israel. In spite of this they still sinned, and did not believe in his wondrous works. Therefore their days he consumed in futility, and their years in fear. When he slew them, then they sought him, and they returned and sought earnestly for God. 
Then they remembered that God was their rock, and the Most High God their Redeemer. Nevertheless, they flattered him with their mouth, and they lied to him with their tongue. For their heart was not steadfast with him, nor were they faithful in his covenant. But he, being full of compassion, forgave their iniquity, and did not destroy them. Yes, many a time he turned his anger away, and did not stir up all his wrath. For he remembered that they were but flesh, a breath that passes away and does not come again. How often they provoked him in the wilderness, and grieved him in the desert. Yes, again and again they tempted God, and limited the Holy One of Israel. They did not remember his power, the day when he redeemed them from the enemy, when he worked his signs in Egypt and his wonders in the field of Zoan, turned their rivers into blood and their streams that they could not drink. He sent swarms of flies among them, which devoured them, and frogs which destroyed them. He also gave their crops to the caterpillar and their labor to the locust. He destroyed their vines with hail and their sycamore trees with frost. He also gave up their cattle to the hail and their flocks to fiery lightning. He cast on them the fierceness of his anger, wrath, indignation, and trouble by sending angels of destruction among them. He made a path for his anger. He did not spare their soul from death, but gave their life over to the plague and destroyed all the firstborn of Egypt, the first of their strength in the tents of Ham. But he made his own people go forth like sheep and guided them in the wilderness like a flock. And he led them on safely, so that they did not fear, but the sea overwhelmed their enemies. And he brought them to his holy border, this mountain which his right hand had acquired. He also drove out the nations before them, allotted them an inheritance by survey, and made the tribes of Israel dwell in their tents. Yet they tested and provoked the Most High God, and did not keep his testimonies but turned back and acted unfaithfully like their fathers. They were turned aside like a deceitful bow, for they provoked him to anger with their high places and moved him to jealousy with their carved images. When God heard this, he was furious and greatly abhorred Israel, so that he forsook the tabernacle of Shiloh, the tent he had placed among them, and delivered his strength into captivity and his glory into the enemy's hand, he also gave his people over to the sword, and was furious with his inheritance. The fire consumed their young men, and their maidens were not given in marriage. Their priests fell by the sword, and their widows made no lamentation. Then the Lord awoke from sleep, like a mighty man who shouts because of wine. And he beat back his enemies. He put them to a perpetual reproach. Moreover, he rejected the tent of Joseph, and did not choose the tribe of Ephraim, but chose the tribe of Judah, Mount Zion, which he loved. And he built his sanctuary like the heights, like the earth which he has established forever. He also chose David his servant, and took him from the sheepfolds. From following the ewes that had young he brought him, to shepherd Jacob his people, and Israel his inheritance." So he shepherded them according to the integrity of his heart, and guided them by the skillfulness of his hands.